Tonight we have a message of inspiration, courage and hope. A man who survived the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel shared his story in Folsom. KCRA 3's Leanne Daniel spoke with him about how sharing his grief is helping him heal. At the Folsom Community Center, the Shabbat Jewish Community Center hosted Ilya Tereshansky. It's really, there's no way to sugarcoat it. It's a, a very horrific story, but it's, it needs to be shared. It needs to be shared, and it's important that people hear it from someone that experienced it firsthand. Tereshansky survived the Hamas attack on his home in Israel, Kibbutz Berry, October 7th. His 15-year-old son died in the attack. His then 13-year-old daughter was taken hostage. For me to be um, outside of Israel is therapeutic. I, I, it's very hard for me to be in, like, inside Israel and inside of my community because, because it just reminds me what I have lost. Tereshansky traveled from Tel Aviv to Northern California to share his experience on October 7th and in the days and months that have come after with an audience of more than 100. He says sharing his experience helps with his grief, but the grief remains. It's kind of a therapeutic for me just to talk over again and again and again um, and to come to terms what happened really uh, because it, it's still unimaginable what, what I've been through, what, what my daughter been through and um, um, they to confront it. In Folsom, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Uh, his daughter was held by Hamas for more than a month. He says that she is resilient. She's back in school and living in Tel Aviv currently with her mother.